Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we are on the way to the power plant. And why would you go and explore rock tunnels, sir? Honestly, that is possibly the worst decision that you could ever make, ever. What's really nice about the uh, Kanto region in this uh, go-through is that you don't have to go through rock tunnel. It's an optional area, pretty much, because you can take the uh, any of the two other routes to get to Lavender. Although, I end up taking Rock Tunnel, because there are some Pokémon that you can only catch there, like Kangaskhan and stuff. Wow, Ariados is actually seeing quite a bit of use! Yeah, see, now Ariados is doing some serious damage. Before, Nightshade would take two or three uh, hits to take down that Sand Slash, but now, only one Giga Drain. It's very, very nice. Unfortunately, it has a really low PP amount, like only five and a lesser power, but in the uh, fifth generation, I think it happened, it got a major buff, which is really, really nice. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened yet. Okay, sir, I want to know your secret. You are obviously a hiker, so I'm pretty sure I put Ariados up front. No Meganium. Okay, so we have the actual Grass-type here using Grass-type moves this time around. So many crits. Honestly, I'm getting so lucky here. Okay, we have an Onyx, which will just die to Razor Leaf. Okay, sir, get ready to tell me your secret. Is it that you're a hiker? Because that's not very much of a secret. Okay, what's the secret? Is it that your name is Sydney? Oh, no. Well, apparently I didn't care enough to know his secret, oh well. But yeah, seriously, I think his secret might be that his name is Sydney. I mean, what kind of a guy would want that name? I apologize if your name is Sydney. But, honestly, I really can't see it, especially if you're that big, kind of hiker type of guy. You really don't seem like the kind that would have the name of Sydney. Yeah, oh, well. Okay, yes, Mount Silver is in Johto, but you can't go there yet. You need all 16 badges to go there. Hiker Tim! Oh, hey, Tim! Nice. Are you using a Dunsparce by chance? I wonder. It would be really awesome if he was. I actually have a friend named Tim, he is one of the uh, four guys on the VGK, which if you don't know about that yet, that's the collab type channel that I have going on with me and some friends. Um, it's very, very fun, very, very nice, uh, highly enjoyable, I suggest it, go check it out. Uh, but yeah, Tim is one of the four there, and his favorite Pokemon is a Dunsparce, which is why I ask about, well, apparently he didn't have one, but that's why I asked if this guy did use one, because he shares that name, and Tim's favorite Pokemon is Dunsparce, so yeah. But unfortunately, apparently it was not meant to be. That dumb girl was not paying attention at all, she was just kind of spazzing out, so I had to go back and talk to her to battle her. Okay, what, are you, what do you have going on? Skiploom? Whatever. Skiploom has way too many weaknesses, and not very good defenses to be very usable. And its speed isn't that great either. So I don't know, just, or same with its evolution, but I mean, Skip Loom really isn't that great. Its typing is really interesting, but it leads way to too many weaknesses and not enough resistances for what it is. Ah well, see, just look at her. She was spazzing out earlier, but now she seems to be holding still. All right. So now we can go up this way and surf on down to the power plant. Because, you know, it makes complete and total sense to have the workers have to... To make the workers need to surf down here. Because, you know, all of them will definitely have surfing Pokemon or whatever. So... If you didn't get it as that uh, baby egg like I did, you can catch an Electabuzz in that grass right there, which is very, very nice. Um, I think it might... No, I'm pretty sure it's in all versions, but if not, well, I don't know. But the one Pokemon that you can't catch in uh, this game that has a baby Pokemon in that egg is Magmar, and you can get a Magby from that egg from the, uh, po or from the Pokemon Daycare. So I really still do suggest that you soft reset until you get that egg to be a Magby. That way, that's one less trade that you have to make. And Magmar is also a pretty neat Pokemon. Uh, no, I do not want a Magneton, sir. I'm going to get one soonish. 
Oh, okay, he got a ring. Okay, word from Cerulean, I was just there. Shady character, loitering around. So yeah, the, you have to go to the power plant as the next uh, sequence trigger. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna search this grass a little bit, maybe. Um, or just surf out of here. But yeah, you can find Electabuzz here. But I got one from that Pokemon egg, with the one that contains the random ba baby Pokemon. Uh, so I don't have to worry about it. Still wish I had thought to get a Magmar instead, though. That would have been really helpful. But whatever, just one more trade I have to make. It really isn't that bad. Okay, here's the entrance to Rock Tunnel and the Pokemon Center that they put here for whatever reason. Unfortunately, as far as I know, you can't fly to this Pokemon Center in this game. You could in the original uh, Fire Red Leaf, er, in the original Red and Blue and Green, and also in Fire Red and Leaf Green as well. But not in the uh, remakes, or at least, well, in the in this generation. I don't know about Generation Four. I never tried it. But, you know, whatever. Okay, so here we are in Rock Tunnel. We're gonna quickly explore it while we're in the area. Just gotta find Flash. God, Flash is, like, really awful. It's probably the worst HM move. I'm so glad that they pretty much got rid of it. Although Gen 4, there was Fog and then Defog, and that was even worse. Because, like... I'm pretty sure it made all of your Pokemon less accurate as long as it was up. And it was just awful fighting in that area. Just so bad. And I'm glad that they've gotten rid of it altogether in Gen 5. It's very, very nice. So we're just going to quickly explore this area because we have a few items and some new Pokemon to catch in here. As well as, um, it's one of the three ways to Lavender... Alternatively, you can go from uh, Saffron and then just head east, or you can get go from Fuchsia and then head east, and it's a really, really long pathway, but you'll eventually make it to uh, Lavender. So, out of all those, going east from Saffron is the easiest. It's really, really short and stuff. Um, this is probably the medium one, because we... There aren't any trainers, you just have to go through some, uh... Oh, hey! Meganium just turned into Lantern, that's not odd at all. But, um, you do have to go through some wild battles or whatever. And then the one from Lavender is probably the worst. Uh, strictly because there are a ton of trainers and it takes forever. However, this pathway is probably the most advantageous. Because it does have um, more Pokemon to catch, as we are catching now. I'll talk about them in a second. Um, so yeah, that's that. Interesting how we have a Kangaskhan and then a Machop here. Uh, Kangaskhan is a normal type, and it's really good in all of its stats. Um, however, it is a normal type, so those generally aren't the best offensively. Um, Kangaskhan does become very, and it's moveful isn't that great, but it be does become very, very useful when it gets its ability Scrappy. I almost said Scrafty, but that's another Pokemon, but when it gets its Scrappy ability later on, I forget which gen it is, maybe 4 or 5, um, which allows it to hit Ghost types with normal and fighting type moves. So it's very nice, especially considering, really, all of Kangaskhan's moves, or at least its good moves, are either fighting or normal. So it's a very nice Pokemon then. You can fake out ghost types and it's very, very nice. And then there's Machop, which is a really powerful physical attacker. Unfortunately, it also does not have its great abilities yet because abilities didn't exist yet. But later on, it gets access to No Guard and um, Steadfast, I think it's called. And then there's one other one, it's not Iron Fist, um... Oh, Guts. I'm pretty sure it gets Guts. And both Guts and No Guard are really, really good. With No Guard, you can launch 100% accurate dynamic punches, which, if that doesn't faint, which is rare, uh, it'll, confu it'll confuse the opponent, which is very, very nice. Or you can, um... 
Well, that's really it. With No Guard, you can do that. Or with Gust, you can get an you can get a boost to his already massive attack stat. So really, it's your pick. And he's really, really bulky as well. Like, he can take quite a few psychic attacks before he goes down. Which is very nice as well. He also gains access to priority in, term in terms of bullet punch. And he also learns the elemental punches. So he's just a really good Pokemon, in my opinion. The only drawback is that he's kind of slow. But I mean, he can take the hits, and he can really dish them out, so he's a really good Pokemon as well. <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird. I'll have to talk about this in a second, but here we have a Cubone, which is a ground type. It is also rather slow and very defensive, but it has a massive attack stat. Later on, it'll get the item called Thick Club, which will double its attack, which is very, very good. Uh, but otherwise, it's kind of eh. It's really and without it. It's also slow, I think I might have mentioned that already. But you know, it can it can do some real damage if you can uh, get it its thick club item and stuff like that. So it's pretty good, but there are better Pokemon out there. Okay, now the reason that I'm like, oh hey, this is really weird or whatever. Um, currently I've been working on a VGC team, like my 18 millionth one. And in that team, I am using... Um, among others, but I am partially using a Machamp, which, oh hey, there's a Machamp, um, and a Kangaskhan, both of which we just caught, or we at least caught the pre-evolution of Machamp, but still. And then it, I was also uh, using Marowak for a while, but then I replaced it with something else, but still, like, it's just like, oh hey, we're catching half my team right here in this area. Also, is it just me, or did the Lavender Town music get freakier in between generations? Like, I don't know. I, th I think that this version is probably the freakiest version of Lavender Town. Gonna get some actual Lavender Town syndrome here. Gonna drive myself to suicide or something like that. I mean, it does have that more soothing, like... Ba -da -da, na -na -na in the background, but it still has the dun na 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 part, which is kind of really freaky. It just- it pays nice homage to the original music though, but after that, uh, no more of that dun na 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 kind of stuff for the most part until the music loops like it is now. But still, like, just really, really freaky type music. Uh, but, you know. And then there are all the stories behind it, which doesn't help, although those aren't true. Okay, I love this Team Rocket member. Um, his English is just so bad. I make big mistake. Forget sue me, okay? Bye-bye, go-go. It's just so funny. Alright, so... Is the gym leader here yet? No, but we do have the machine part. That is the thing that the power plant is looking for. And that's pretty much the last thing you need in terms of the side quest. You can just grab it like I did, or you can go up to the uh, Golden Nugget Bridge. I actually think it's just called Nugget Bridge. Either way, you go up to that bridge, and you'll find him halfway through. You can battle him, and he'll basically tell you that he hid it somewhere in the water in the Cerulean Gym, so you can look around for it. But I'm going to battle him anyways, because I like this guy. Uh, be big pan panic for here, people. Um, it's just so funny. Battle Begin We Go, or whatever he said, I don't know, the uh, time bar is kind of blocking what he says, which is kind of unfortunate. Anyways, he only has a Golbat, which is kind of unfortunate, but this is the last Team Rocket member you'll face in the entire game. The, j the joke is basically that he doesn't realize that Team Rocket has been disbanded because he's facing Kanto. So, we're about to take care of that. Also, Houndoom learned Flamethrower, which is fantastic. Look at that damage. So good. He's become such a great team member all of a sudden now that he has that Flamethrower. God, this guy's English. It's just so great. It's hilarious. Ah, uh, yeah. So, he tells you that he put it in the water of the gym, but we already got it. So, now we can head back to the power plant if we want to. Yes, Team Rocket is bye-bye a go-go. <laughs> He's so funny. Um, I haven't seen it for myself, or at least I'm not sure if I have. But apparently, he makes a return in black and white. 
He's a biker in that game, and he talks about how he used to be a Team Rocket member, but then he's shaped up, and now he's an upstanding citizen. Somewhat, I mean, he's a biker, so how much upstanding can he really be doing? But then he still says, like, bye-bye, go-go, and stuff like that. His English is still bad, which is just great. I like it when they have returns of characters, even small ones, like that guy. Or Youngster Joey. Or at least references within the games. So, yeah, there you go. So now we are battling the new uh, Nugget Bridge 5 or whatever you call them. For whatever reason, they're not on the bridge. I really don't get it, but you know, whatever. We're still gonna beat them easily. Houndoom's gonna just light them all on fire. And we're going this way because this is where our gym leader for Cerulean currently is. And we have to go get her and tell her to go to the gym so we can fight her. That's the basic idea. So if we could ever make it, that'd be great, though. Okay, guy, let's just stand there for a second as I create a new video file or whatever. So, yeah, just a whole bunch of battles and stuff. And then you can go back to the uh, power plant now, although, like I said earlier, unfortunately you can't fly to that Pokemon Center that's right by Rock Tunnel to make a nice shortcut. But I mean, if you battled all the trainers already, it's not too long of a walk. But still, I figured while I'm in the area, might as well get the gym later. And then I'll go to Power Plant, give them the machine part, turn on the electricity in Kanto, and then fly to some other location. Uh, probably Lavender Town again. But, yeah. So, Schoolboy Joe was just defeated, he has stuff of Vaporeon, which is kind of interesting. Really bulky, although it's... Well, its type kind of allows for bulkiness. Um, oh god, a double battle! Before there were double battles. My god, the first time that two trainers, like, walked at the same time. Like, I ran into one and I was like, okay, I'll fight that one and then f I'll fight the other one next time around. But when they both came at me at once, I was like, what, what, what? It was such a weird thing, I didn't really get it. Then again, double battles were pretty much new to begin with. But I mean, I played through uh, Ruby beforehand, and that didn't happen in Ruby, it only happened in Emerald in that generation. <coughs> it all- uh, excuse me, still slightly sick, my throat is kinda bad, and I still don't have water! Think I would've thought of that, but apparently not. Um, so yeah, just immediately after the other. But it also didn't happen in Fire Red, I know that for a fact, because in the, uh, fighting type gym, quote-unquote, where you get him on Chan or him on Lei, uh, they're just lined up, and they could very well double battle you like that, one walk up to you and then the other one immediately after, and then they work as a team, but that doesn't happen, it's just one after another. So, Emerald changed things up in those regards, and they used it a little too much in my opinion, but I mean, it was alright. I mean, double battles were new and stuff, and really innovative. But they did go a bit overboard with it. And then they have freaking Pokemon Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness, where it's just nothing but double battles. Which is kind of eh, in my opinion. Now, I really like how the VGCs are double battles, because it's not as switch-heavy, and it's much quicker, and then you can use different combos and stuff like that. But I mean, having an entire just like main story Pokemon game based on double battles or whatever, it's it's kind of mad to me. I don't know. Especially when they have not as many Pokemon um, catchable in Pokemon Coliseum especially. They have more in Gale of Darkness from what I understand. I've never played it. Mainly because I've never been able to find it. But yeah, they don't have that many uh, Pokemon catchable in... Uh, Colosseum at least, which doesn't allow for very many combos. Not- th I mean, some are possible, although really basic ones like Earthquake, Protect, or whatever. But nothing really too, too big. They also didn't have nearly as many options for combos in general, uh, earlier on because double battles were still new. I'm- I'm gonna go cough again, so, uh, turn off your headphones for a second or something. <clears throat> ah, god, my throat. Okay, so this guy gives us our nugget just like the regular nugget bridge, but he also fights us, but he doesn't ask if we want to be a part of Team Rocket, which is nice. 
And he has actually high-leveled Pokémon. Holy crap, what a concept! We still beat him in one hit, but still, what a concept! Okay, Wartortle, that's really interesting, and I'm pretty sure he also has a Charmeleon, but for whatever reason, he doesn't have an Ivysaur. Like, I don't get it. If you're gonna have the second evolution of two of the starters, why not have the third? I mean, you... Yeah, I mean, why does he have a Rhyhorn? He could have had that theme going, but he just goes and ruins it. God, this guy, this guy... He doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, he had high-level Pokémon, we still beat him down. Houndoom's like 10 levels lower than everybody else. Uh, but he's still pretty much up to par with all the trainers and stuff, so it's really not that bad. He'll catch up to the rest of the team. Uh, much to, to the dismay of the low-level low level trainers in this game, but still. Ooh, a protein, that's nice. You can sell it for 4,900. Or you can, um, use it to increase attack stat. Okay, so let's just find something to drop. X accuracy, that's useless. Yeah, why did I even, like think about keeping that, honestly. Ah well, there we go, we get a protein, which is very nice. Great, my throat is getting all scratchy again and I have to cough. Of course, me in the past would give me a 21 minute video to commentate through, because I hate me. Yeah, I had to go show up and bug you now. But yeah, here's Misty, she's our next gym leader. Um, she loves the gym badges. Yep. So, and then she goes off. Um, interesting thing right here, you show this guy a certain Pokémon that he's asking for, he'll give you an evolutionary stone, you can do it for five different Pokémon to get five different stones. Um, which is very helpful, but I won't be doing it. And with that, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Didn't cut myself off! <laughs>